All right, and here are some examples of igneous rocks. This is basalt, diorite, gabbro, granite, rhyolite, and scoria. Those are all igneous rocks. Now, when it comes to the rock cycle, all you really have to know is how each type of rock is formed. For example, sedimentary rocks are formed when rocks get broken up into sediments, which can get deposited in a new location, and then those sediments get compacted and cemented together. The one thing you should realize, though, is that all the rocks can become sediments. Sedimentary rocks can become sediments, which can get broken up and deposited and cemented together. Igneous rocks can get broken up into sediments and become sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic rocks can get broken up into sediments and become sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed when there's heat and pressure. What kind of rocks can be exposed to heat and pressure? If you said all of them, you're right. And igneous rocks are formed when rocks melt into magma or lava, and then the lava or magma cools to form rock. What kind of rocks could be melted? If you said all of them, you're right. And that is the end of chapter six.